everyone, it's Leanne here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created the fairy themed circle shaker card using the adorable fairy friends stamp set from Lawn Fawn. So to begin I have my papers picked out here. I'll be using the plaid pattern paper from Lawn Fawn and that will act as my border. And the other two papers I picked up from Michaels and they're just loose sheets that you can pick up in the store. So I'm doing the circle shaker card, so I've already cut that out with my largest circle die. And I have three, so I have a medium size as well and a small. Now when I put the large and the small together, that will serve as my border, and all other backgrounds will be cut using that middle circle. So now I'm setting up the border first. So I'm using my largest die and my smallest die, and I'm just eyeballing that to figure out where I want the frame to be. And I'm also being cognizant of the pattern too and how I want that to fall. And then using that middle template, I'm cutting out all of my background pieces. So the yellow will be the sky and then the green will be the grass. And I've cut those both out of the same um, die. And I'm also using the Everyday Sentiment Banners uh, dies from Lawn Fawn as well. And this will hold the sentiment at the bottom of the card. I also took an Avery sheet protector and it's a clear sheet and I used my middle die to cut out um, the part that will be the shaker window. Now when I run it through my die cutting machine it just scores it which is okay. So I just run that lightly over my X-Acto knife and I'm easily, or able to easily pop that out. So here I'm just stamping up the stamps that I'll use from the Fairy Friends stamp set. And I've stamped these in Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm just doing my Copic coloring here and I've sped this up so that you can see all of the shadows and highlights and considerations I make as I color these in. Now I don't know if you noticed there but I had um, the marker bled a little bit onto the paper and it made a little blob outside of the bottom right side of the sunflower petal. So I'm going to clean that up and I'm going to show you a tip further in the video on how to clean that up. It's pretty easy. So I'm just going in now and creating the shadows on those petals. And this Y28 Lionette Gold is a really pretty color. I use this in a lot of different uh, color combinations and it really blends well. So here I'm just taking my colorless blender and I'm pulling that ink away where it went outside of the stamp lines. I also took a Micron pen and created the hairband on my fairy. There is a natural hairline that's present on all the fairy stamps and I love to just add one line at the top and create a hairband to go with all my fairies and this works for every fairy stamp in the fairy friends stamp set and then that way I can coordinate the dress color with the hairband and tie that color in more than once into the fairy coloring and I find that's a really cute addition. So here I'm just coloring the hair for my fairy and some people find it easy to do light flicks away from them and others find it easy to do it towards them and so whatever works for you just turn your page and create those light flicks following the curvature of the head and I started with a light tone and then went in with a medium and I'm just building up the edges of the of the hair with the darkest tone and when I have this all done I'm going to go back in with my lightest tone just to touch up any of the white that's still showing if it's a little much it's easy to go in with your lightest tone at the end and just soften it a little bit so I'm doing the skin tone as well and I am using the skin tone set of Copic markers and I will link that in the description below as well. So I'm just adding the shadows here on the skin and getting that all cleaned up. And the skin tone set actually is a really versatile set. It does a range, a large range of skin tones. And so it's a pretty handy set to have. Now yellow is my favorite color. I love the color yellow. So I was pretty excited to color this fairy in a yellow dress with her yellow sunflower. I haven't done a yellow card yet, a yellow card video, so I was pretty excited to do this. And I thought she looked really nice with her brunette hair and it complemented the colors really well together. And then I'm just going back in and cleaning up her headband and matching that to her dress as well. For the wings I'm using a B00, a really light blue. And I'm doing the flicking motion that I did with the hair as well. Very light, wispy strokes pulling out from the base of the wings. And I'm going over that with B23 just to enhance those veins in the wings a little bit. And it adds a shadow as well without having to color it in solid. And I'm just turning the paper too, just to get that angle 
and I find that really helps to get the flicks perfect. So now that I have my fairy stamps die cut out, I'm applying tape with my tape roller to the base of my card and I'm putting down my background layer, so that will be the sky. Now I'm using metal borders from Lawn Fawn and I'm going to cut out the grass hillside using the metal borders. And I'm going to do that in the green. And so here I'm just placing my elements and eyeballing how far up I want the green grass to go um, over the skyline and how much it needs to peek out from the sentiment banner. Once I have that in place, I'm using post-it tape to hold that and just running it through my die cutting machine. And the die cutting machine is very handy. It creates a nice, clean, perfect cut. And especially for those grass blades, they look really great when they come out of the machine. So I'm just adding tape with my tape roller to that as well and placing that down over the base of my card. So now it's time to set up the window of the shaker. So I'm adding tape to the frame that I cut out using the plaid paper and I'm placing the shaker window over that tape there to get it in place. And I'm just double checking everything that I have progressed so far and making sure it's all lining up good, which everything looks good. And now I'm applying the foam tape. So this will create the height for the shaker window. I've doubled up the foam tape so it's times two height and I've cut the foam tape in half so it's a thin strip. You don't need a lot of foam tape, just a nice clean edge to rim the shaker window. So you can see there how I'm folding it in half and I'm taking one side of the sticky tape off and then I'll just cut that into pieces and work it around the edge creating that circle. So I've set that aside for now. I'm just checking all my sizing and positioning again. And the items that I'm going to put inside my shaker card are from the dollar store and from Michaels. I got this sweet bead set uh, from the dollar store as well as my sequins and then the shaker bottle of various uh, sequins I got at Michaels and I think that was around seven dollars. I think I used a coupon for that as well but that has a lot of different colors and shapes of little sequins and it's so pretty and it's so perfect for shaker cards. I'm just dropping a few sequins in. I find that this gives a variance to the shapes in the, in the shaker card. A lot of the shapes are tiny, so this is a little bit bigger and gives visual interest. So I'm just checking everything once again and making sure I added enough elements into the shaker card and everything looks pretty good. When I put this together, I found that the longer stems of the grass blades were catching on the shaker elements. So I just put some white glue on a paper and put a bit on my finger and ran my finger behind the uh, blades of grass just to put some glue on it and tack those down. It just took a very little amount and it made a big difference in the end. So here I'm just lining up my window one more time just checking the position and making sure everything's straight. I've peeled all my tape off and I'm ready to position that down. And here I'm just considering the layout of the plaid pattern and how I want that to fall on my final card. So once I get that all lined up, I'm going to press it into place. And I have my shaker window build. So once again, I check and double check just to make sure everything is positioned properly, the proportions are still lining up good, and I'm ready to ink my sentiment. So I'm using the sentiment Thank you very much from the same Fairy Friends stamp set. And I'm just making sure that everything fits on the, the die that I have already cut for the sentiment banner. I find it helps if I tack it down with some post-it tape on my, on my desk, on my work surface, just so that when I stamp it, it doesn't lift up off the page as I lift my acrylic block back. So I'm adding some two-way tape and I'm gonna layer that sentiment banner and in the sentiment banner set, the dies, you get three different sizes. So it's nice that you can create that layered dimensional look. I've added some foam tape to the back of the main banner. And again, just checking my position. I do this a lot when I'm creating a card. And once I have that all good, I just tack it down in place. I've put foam tape on my fairy and my little sunflower as well. And I'm getting ready to put those into place as well. Because these are tinier elements, I use the tip of my X-Acto knife um, and it's holding onto the foam tape at the back. And then that allows me to position it exactly where I want it. 
and I can move it in and just nudge it a little bit if I need to instead of trying to do it just with my hands. So then now that I have the card all built, I'm going to attach it to the base of my main card. So I've added some tape with my roller tape and making sure everything's straight and centered, I'm positioning that and it's all good to go. So we have a top folding circle shaker card. And I'm pretty excited with how this turned out. So there you have it. Here's the finished piece of the circle shaker card. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you're notified the next time I post a card video. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.